more pretty power, vague. more right. powerful than ever. Right. And I think that that some of the best lyricists out there are, are the most popular. You know, really, you know, top five. You know what I'm saying? You got Nas, Jay Z, some of the best rappers ever to test the mic. You know what I'm saying? And they selling records right now. So, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I can't be mad. I remember when it's been in life. So, <laughs> hey, right. I'm not mad at all. And we went from Audis to Phantoms, you know what I'm saying? From gold mm -hmm. to platinum. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm with the gold chain. I'm with all that, you know what I'm saying? From Budweiser to PBR, you know? Uh -huh. The champagne to beers. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, educate yourself, you know what I'm saying? African Americans, man, we we don't. If it's not on the radio or on television, we don't know about it. Which right. which means that a lot of the information that's out there we're missing. I don't I don't care about the musical aspect. I'm just like, dude, all the real info is in books. You know what I'm saying? Though, like everything I really learned was either from one on one conversations with people, or in a classroom setting, or a regular chill setting, or from a book. So I think that we need to change that in general. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because if you just look at the music, mm -hmm. look how much good music. Cats are missing out on because right. all they listen to is the radio and television. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And that's just music. That's not frivolous, but it's frivolous in the grand scheme of things. Mm -hmm. So think about all the stuff Cats is missing out on informationally wise mm -hmm. as far as to improve your lives. So, mm -hmm. I mean, that's just something to think about. I'm not tripping off who comes to the shows. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm, I'm not mad at all. You know what I'm right. saying? Though? I'm just like, I understand it because Cats, especially in my community, mm -hmm. get most yeah. of their information from the boob tube and the weak ass radio. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't, you know, I understand right. why. It's not, you know, cause fools well, will show reason. up and cats will be like, y'all was in town? Right. Y'all exactly. still make music? Why people aren't at the shows, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I mean, if you're not promoting in those areas, if you don't go to the barbershop and like pass out a flyer, no one's gonna know, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So like, I mean, if you're only promoting the skate shops and all that, you know, you're not you're not gonna get promoted. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But we go to different cities. I mean, we we're we're a worldwide group. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we don't really diversity to us is like a, a far. It has a broader spectrum than what you're talking about. Just mm -hmm. like black and white. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know what I'm saying? We travel the world and we meet people that don't even speak our language and they still know our music. You know what I mean? And have been doing it for 15 years, so. We have a, just a, a different understanding of diversity, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, and time, because at this point in time right now, it's marketing, backpack rap is, yo, you gotta dress like this, you gotta look like this, if you're with gangster rap, you gotta drink this t certain type of alcohol, you gotta drive this certain type of car, it's not even why are the people not there, it's more of a matter of, you know what I'm saying, why is it being marketed towards these certain type of people, you know what I'm saying, they're trying to make money off people. You know what I mean? Like, we're not trying to make money. We're just trying to go out and get the people what they want. And, mm -hmm. and if we live in Oakland, I mean, you know what I'm saying? If you come to our building and come see what we do, I mean, our reality is a totally different reality from what you're getting right here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, so okay. like, and this is just how we get down. So, and we've been doing it for 15 years. Uh -huh. So as you get like a smidgen, an inkling of what we've been doing, if you take a whole, if you take a look at our whole career, mm -hmm. you see where we are right now in terms of what we've been doing. You know what I'm saying? This right here is just a blink of an eye. You know what I'm saying? And we see the natural progression, mm -hmm. especially in terms of the cities that we go to or where we frequent. You know what I'm saying? We are in Boston right now. You know what I'm saying? If you come to the Bay Area, you might see a whole different scenario. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you come to the uh, Rock the Bells, you know what I'm saying? And uh, uh, it's about to be cracking in, in August 17th in Frisco. You know what I'm saying? You see hieroglyphics doing it big. Mm -hmm. you know What do you guys do without the radio or TV? Yeah, we, or do, we do what we do, man. We can't, you know what I'm saying, though? Like, I'm not going to spend a quarter of a million dollars on radio. Mm -hmm. You can buy 10 cribs with that. You can buy 20 cribs with that if you really, you know what I'm saying, or make it look right. You feel what mm -hmm. I'm saying, though? Right. So I'm not going to spend that kind of money on radio or TV, mm -hmm. you know? So, I mean, it's just, it is what it is, you know? Yes.
think that came from? I mean, what? Why is See, that? We're the kings of the back. But what? What is that even? I'm <laughs> trying to figure. I'll play casual. You feel me? Bringing the backpack back. You know what I'm saying? They want to try to put that stamp on us and make it seem like it's something negative. Well, you know that's my saying? point. There's a, to me, there's a little bit of a stigma attached to that. When you say back, even when I see the me, the the mainstream media like the XXLs and the sources and, and they yeah, every time cool. the they first thing they say is backpack and then but the whole point is the funny part is they're all suckers though and I ain't, I'm not trying to paint a broad brush but most of them cats most of them cats will not come even over here right. and really be in the scene or nothing they a bunch of scaredy cats that write these things and want to put you in a box but really honestly with backpack rap the concept, it was cats like Black Moon that was right. wearing backpacks. And I bet you it wasn't no rap books in them backpacks. I bet you it was some heavy equipment and some alcoholic beverages and some and some drugs in them motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Right. No, backpack, You're absolutely right, yes. I, I don't we, we don't mind that categorization because mm -hmm. really honestly, it, it, it's I mean, if, if that's what you want to label, it's cool. We make the same thing we've been making from jump. Mm -hmm. Most of the people who know us know us from MTV, not right. from being underground. So it, it's mm -hmm. all gravy, man. I mean Really, honestly, and this, I just gotta say this, man. When you really dig deeper into the real lives of people doing this rap stuff, everything is not what it seems. Most of the most positive rappers are really on some street shit, but mm -hmm. they, because they're really in real life on some street shit, they're not about to rap about well, that shit. Come on. Okay, so versus the saying? ones that actually that do the that. The dudes that's rapping about that shit, they, they, their kids is in private school. And they can't even go into the streets. They can't even go to their own neighborhoods right. where they live. But that's that's an awful thing. I'm saying that's not a good thing. Right. But it's all it's all outside labeling. You feel what I'm saying though? It's the industry creating a label. It's not the people from inside doing it. And the people who are from inside doing that, they suck us too. Cause it's like, man, I grew up, we'll go to a show that was too short, De La mm -hmm. Soul, Slick Rick. Rock him and Cool J, or well, something exactly. like that, all in one place. Right, and I was living in the South at the time, so it's that you got, and then you got Uncle Luke up in there. Somewhere. Yeah, you exactly, know? exactly. So it, all that labeling, it's the industry trying to, like you said, package and market. You wear these kind of jeans, you wear this type of hat, you drink this kind of liquor, you got this kind of tattoo, you listen to this kind of music. You wear this, you know, this kind of bandana, you wear this, that, and the third, and you listen to that kind of music. But it's outside marketing, trying to market mm -hmm. to. Separate, you know, like right, yeah. you come to Oakland, it's, we're not beatboxing and, and, and you know, backsliding down right. the street. It's Oakland, California, like, from the, the Panthers, the Raiders, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? No town business. It's not, like, you come to our building, it's, it's gang wars going on outside, and we're not ducking and dodging that shit. we in the middle of that yeah. shit, you know what I'm saying? So, that's. I, I don't really want to pay no mind. Like he said, we trying to be the right. kings of what we do. And if you want to label us backpack rappers, well, we the best damn backpack rappers. Ever. <laughs> we started it. You feel yeah, me? You know what I'm saying? We want to come like that. You know what I'm saying? Our living is originators. You know what I'm saying? So like, fuck it. <laughs> well, yeah. We will. We will run backpack. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Right. I was just listening to my Rough House survivors. Check exactly. Backpack Check them back. See? Yeah, I know. I know. It's like the media doesn't control us. Mm -hmm. They want to try to use backpack rap as a, as a bad word. I don't care, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, you attach that to us. You got so many people talking about it. I bet you, when you, I bet a million dollars when you mention backpack rap, I bet you say hieroglyphic souls of mischief. Right. So right there it is, you know what I'm saying? Put that in a magazine. I wish you would put it in a magazine, you sucker. You feel me? You get money off this shit, you know what I'm saying? So you could do that all day, every day. Right. You know what I'm saying? We are going to be who we are forever. I've been doing this for 15 years, yeah. and I ain't got to play myself out for nobody, ever. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be me. You feel me? Come on, man. And that's what hip-hop is about, on the real. Mm -hmm. It's not about all that fronting and all that faking. And when we first was coming out, all the dudes that was fronting and faking would just evolve out. Cause cats would come throw them off stage and do things like that to them. So <laughs> it ain't. You, you, never you know what I'm saying? No, like it, it. It's all. These are all phases. We mm -hmm. all. We are. We have the the luck and the the fortune or the blessings to be able to look at it with some sort of hindsight or some sort of outsider perspective. Plus, we still fans, so we're not right. fooled by none of that. If you hop in our car, we listen to Young Jeezy mm -hmm. and uh, Nas and uh, uh, Lifesaver. still be
being fans, because I hear some hags talk about, oh, I don't even listen to this no more. I don't, I don't do, I just listen to me, or I just listen to a couple of my friends, or I, I don't know what's going on in hip-hop anymore. I don't I don't pay attention. So you guys are still, you know, you're in there, you're listening, you're checking things out. I mean, we listen to music, we don't have adversaries just because you don't listen to things and right. you like what you do, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's really a good place to be if you're an artist, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you need that space to create for yourself, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like. For us, hieroglyphics, we've been doing it for so long that we don't really get into like, fuck this dude because he doesn't do that and this guy is that. We, when we, I know we were just having this conversation just recently. We've seen a trend of something trying to create this this atmosphere of everything is whack. Now hip hop is whack. Hip hop don't mean shit. Why is that? I remember when it was this MC is whack because he yeah. bit this dude, he copied yeah. this dude, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're not. This isn't the game for us, you know what I'm saying? We can see through that so easily, you know what I'm saying? Like, just that animosity, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, get hyped up. What do you think, you know, why is this guy this, blah, 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 you know what I'm saying? And then the next thing you know, you're like, fuck this guy, fuck those guys, everybody's a butt, the boss and bullshit. Like, what is that, where is that coming from? You know what I'm saying? Like, I see so many artists out here doing their thing. R.I.P. J. Dilla, man, that's one of the best dudes doing it for a long time, you know what I'm saying? On some new shit, you feel me? So it's like, I see cats out here. My man, nobody that we signed to our label, man, mm -hmm. is yeah. murderous shit. You know what I'm saying? So we are not fooled by that. Everything is whack. Everything is not, not whack. whack. They're just telling right. you this. Everybody is like this. You should. You should have some code of honor or whatever. Just be creative. Just be you. However you get to that place. However you get into your creative space. Mm -hmm. Just allow that to to just elevate your style to that next level. You know what I'm saying? Don't fucking fall victim to some type of manifesto that someone else has created to tell you and dictate to you where it, what it takes for you to be you. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Just create. Well, that's good to hear that because I hear so many folks. It seems like the, the the ones that have been in the business for a while have been become a bit jaded to the point where they're just tuning out everything. And like I you said, everything is. Like, I think it's just. Know? I think it's just the the culture just it says you should say that. Mm -hmm. You should, that should it's be your good. response. It's, not, it's, not it's like almost that. like a character that you should be. You know what it's like? It's like the teenager in the house who hates, you know, like they grow up in a house and you got food, you got both your parents there, you got a car that you don't have to pay for and all that, and you're still sitting around fucking mad like, oh, this shit, I wish I was in a favela in Brazil and didn't have shit, because that was when it was the shit. Right. You know what I'm saying, though? Like, you got to, dude, you got to, I mean, excuse my language, but you, you know what I'm saying, though? Yeah. You have to recognize and be thankful for what we got right now. We got a multi-billion dollar enterprise that's feeding hundreds of thousands of people. Mm -hmm. And there's so much music and so much variety out there. We just came off a tour, man. Shout out to Kazi, because he was killing it. You know what I'm saying? What's up, the icon, the Mike King, all that, man. Yeah. We on the tour, killing it. Straight underground hip hop. You feel what I'm saying, though? Mm -hmm. Crowds was having, walking home soaked, drenched in their own sweat. So it can't really, when you talk about it ain't no real hip hop, I, I know for a fact that is a lie. Yes. And you're lying to yourself if you want to act like that.
longer. Anything else you want to add to that? You guys done? Or? Hieroglyphics.com. Yeah. Is it? 